Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful and spectacular country of Turkey and I'm visiting Turkey's third largest city. I'm in Izmir, Smyrna or Smyrni as it is known to the Greeks. In this particular documentary we're going to visit the museum of the Turkish president Mustafa Kemal Ataturk who established the Turkish Republic in 1922. He's considered the father of the Turks and of the country of Turkey. And he is definitely adored by all the Turks. If you come to Turkey, you will see pictures of him everywhere in every house and in every shop and almost in every street that you go to. So in this particular documentary, we're going to visit a mansion here in Izmir, in Smyrna, that he lived in while he was visiting this very important and very historic city. Let's go for a long walk and let's admire the architecture of the building and we may learn a few things about the Turk along the way. Come on, let's do it. Now before we go inside for a tour of the Ataturk Museum, let's very briefly examine the beautiful front of this mansion that was built for Ataturk so that he could stay here every time he visited Izmir. You can see that the front is built out of uh, very beautiful white marble with a beautiful Ottoman balcony on the second floor as you see there. So let's go inside, let's tour most of the rooms and uh, we have so much to see and learn. Let's do it. I have just entered the building. The entrance is right behind me. So let's walk around and let's view some of the rooms and the exhibits here at the museum. But first of all, let's go into this small room right here. As soon as you enter the museum, to the right of the entrance, you will find a small theater. And uh, here you get to watch a short documentary about the life history of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. And this documentary concentrates also on the catastrophe of Izmir and the history that took place around that very eventful era between 1918 and 1922 here in Izmir. And it concentrates on the fight between the Turks and the Greeks. Unfortunately, this documentary is in Turkish. So if you don't speak Turkish, you will know benefit you as far as learning a lot about that critical part of history between Greece and Turkey. Let's continue our tour around the building. Now let's go into this room here. The entrance is right behind me and this is where Ataturk held his conferences with his generals. We we'll see him here conferring with a few of them. The person that is of interest to us is that person in the middle of the frame who is Inonu, who became the president of Turkey after the death of Ataturk in 1938. But here's an overall view of the room here. Incidentally, there are signs in English as well explaining every room as we walk around. And uh, here is the view of the room that we just saw and adjacent to it and to the left we find a conference room with the original furniture used during the conferences between Ataturk and his generals. A very large cabinet with books 
As you can imagine, Mustafa Kemal at the Turk conferring with his generals and sitting at the end of that table right there. I will not do any justice if I try to explain the life of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk in just a few seconds. He was born in 1881 in the city of Salonika, which was at the time part of the Ottoman Empire. Salonika is the, today's the Greek city of Thessaloniki. He died in 1938. Now, he was responsible for the defeat of the Allies in 1915 in Gallipoli. If you know nothing about Gallipoli, check it out on Wikipedia and you're going to be amazed at what he accomplished. He was also responsible for defeating the Greeks here in this area in 1922. The Greek army had taken over the area of Izmir in 1919 and they were defeated in 1922. The defeat of the Greeks resulted in the destruction of Izmir from a huge fire and also from casualties from the war and uh, probably at least a couple of hundred thousand Greeks died as a result of the war here in this area between 1919 and the end of September of 1922. He established Ataturk, that is the Turkish Republic, the modern Turkish Republic. A lot of people claim, rightly so, that if it was not for Ataturk, Turkey would not exist in the shape and the size that we know of Turkey today because he saved Turkey from the ashes as the Ottoman Empire was collapsing. That's why he was named Ataturk, the father of the Turks. He's really been admired and adored by the Turks and as I said, you're going to find pictures of him all over the country. So let's continue our tour around this magnificent mansion here in the waterfront of Izmir. If you're curious about Ataturk, read about him on Wikipedia, which has an excellent biography. Come on, let's continue. That's the entrance to my right. This is the conference rooms that we just saw. And here in the middle of the building, we'll find beautiful staircases. So let's uh, take them and go upstairs. And let's see what we're going to find up there. Come on. Okay, I am upstairs and the very first room we're going to visit is the dining room up here on the first floor with beautiful furniture from the time period from the beginning of the century in the 1920s. And uh, right opposite the dining room, we find uh, the Turks study room. Here's his desk and the furniture of the room. To the left, of the study room, we find uh, the Turks' bedroom. That's a photograph of him right there on the right. As you can hear, there is Turkish music playing on the speakers all over the mansion. This would be the place where he rested. Here's the last view of Ataturk's bedroom. And in one corner of the mansion, we find a bedroom used for guests. Once again, with beautiful furniture from the turn of the century, the 20th century. So you can imagine some very important people 
they have stayed in this bedroom while Atatürk was visiting Izmir. And uh, if you were an honored guest of Atatürk here in Izmir, you could have used Atatürk's barber. There is a separate room here in the mansion for the barber. And uh, next to the barber's room, we find another bedroom for guests. And uh, in another corner of the mansion on the second floor, we find a room with lots of photographs explaining the life of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Every photograph is also translated in English. You can spend a couple of hours here reading everything. Here are some pictures of Izmir before the fire of 1922 from the waterfront. Here's a very famous photograph here that shows the waterfront and the mansions on the left that were lining up the waterfront. Same area as well here with the horse cart. This area that you see the waterfront of Izmir was completely destroyed during a huge fire between September 9th and September 15th of 1922 with the loss of hundreds of thousands of Greek and Armenian Christians. And that remains a very controversial part of history between the Greeks and the Turks, and it will be debated for centuries to come, and it will not be resolved anytime soon. Well, hello once again. Uh, this is Vic, and I certainly hope that you have enjoyed a tour of this remarkable museum here in Izmir, Turkey, and certainly I hope that you have learned a little bit about the life and the history of this remarkable politician, Turkish politician and general Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. This is Vic all the way from Izmir. Bye bye.